HubSpot offers in-app integration with MailChimp that allows you to sync the data between both these platforms. However, this app called DataSync by HubSpot is only available if you pay for at least the Operation Hub starter. Although good news, if you're like the many people that use the free HubSpot CRM, then you can still enable this integration and for free with a tool called Zapier. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now today I'm going to share how you can simply connect and sync HubSpot with MailChimp using the free automations tool called Zapier. Okay, so before you go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and connect HubSpot with MailChimp using Zapier. <music> Okay, so here I am inside my free HubSpot account. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and located the MailChimp app. Now, if I navigate down, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, this app requires the Operation Hub starter plan or higher. So what we're gonna do is use a free option, which is leveraging the free automation tool called Zapier. So to do this, simply navigate over to your browser and type in zapier.com, and that's gonna take you here. Then simply come down and click on get started for free. Then go ahead and sign up with your details here or sign up with Google, Facebook or Microsoft. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google and I'm going to sign up with this Google account. Then select the role that best describes you and how many employees your company has. Then come down and click continue. And what we want to do is go ahead and create our first zap. Think about a zap as an automated connection between multiple apps. I'm going to go ahead and click create zap. Then come down and search for an app. I'm gonna go ahead and search for MailChimp. And this is our trigger. So whatever happens with MailChimp is going to do something in HubSpot. So we've already gone ahead and selected the app. Now we need to choose the event. If we click here and down here, we can choose any of these events. For example, if we navigate down, we can choose new subscriber triggers when a new subscriber is added to an audience or new customer triggers when a new customer is added to a selected store. I'm gonna go ahead and select new subscriber and then click on continue. Now we need to first go ahead and sign in with MailChimp. Okay, so once you've connected your MailChimp account, simply navigate over to continue. Then choose an audience. I'm gonna choose my audience here and then click continue. So remember at the moment we've selected the MailChimp account and the trigger is when a new subscriber is added to our email list, the email list that we just selected. So go ahead and click test trigger. And as you can see, we found a subscriber, so the test was complete. What we're gonna do is navigate down and click on continue. Then here we want to select the next app. Remember, what we wanna do is connect MailChimp with HubSpot. So go ahead and type in HubSpot, locate HubSpot, and then select the event. We can navigate down and choose from any of these event types. Add contact to list, create company, create associations, create calendar task, and we have more options down here. And remember, you can create multiple zaps or connections between MailChimp and Zapier. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create contact, creates a contact in HubSpot. Then click on continue, and then we need to go ahead and sign into HubSpot. Then once you've connected your HubSpot account, come down and click on continue. Then navigate down and click on continue. And then we're gonna come down and click skip test. However, you can go ahead and test the action if you like by filling in some of this information and then clicking test action. I'm gonna go ahead and click on skip test and then skip test. Then come down and click on publish zap. And if you're ready to turn on the connection between MailChimp and HubSpot, remember as soon as a new subscriber is added to the specific email list that we selected inside MailChimp, then a new contact will be created inside HubSpot. So go ahead and click on publish and turn on. And just like that, your zap was published. Congratulations. You have now connected HubSpot with MailChimp. And you can navigate up here and turn off this connection at any time. And remember, you can create any type of event between MailChimp and HubSpot. 
Now, a real case scenario for this connection would be if I had a landing page that I built with MailChimp and I was driving traffic to that landing page. And with that landing page, I was capturing new contacts, those that are interested in my offering, my service offering. And so those contacts will be added to a list that I created specifically for that landing page. And when that individual signs up, they automatically get sent to our HubSpot CRM and added as a contact. And then I can start engaging with that contact via HubSpot and ultimately turn them into a lead and then a paying customer. And it's as simple as that guys to use Zapier to connect HubSpot and MailChimp. Remember you can use Zapier for all types of applications to connect them together and automate specific processes. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial, helping you connect MailChimp and HubSpot together to improve your email marketing activities. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.